My name is Mtutuzeli Navemba. I am from South Africa. I was born in Cape Town, but I grew up in a very small town uh, in Ashton called Zolani. I have three brothers and one sister. My sister is the oldest. And ever since I was young, she's always lived outside the house. So it was always just me and my brothers and my mom. And I just, I remember always having to ask myself, like, what's for lunch? What's for dinner? What's for breakfast? You know, we were living in, in a sort of what's next kind of situation. Uh, and I think witnessing that or witnessing my mother having to go through that um, has made me appreciate where I am now. Um, and I remember in the, in the piece that we have this wall that kind of resembles a, a space that, was, that offered me comfort. Uh, offered my family comfort, uh, offered my community comfort. Um, so in my house, there, there used to be a little, we call it a stoop. It's like a, a concrete, little, like long bench um, that kind of helped the foundation of the house so it doesn't fall apart. And we didn't have a, a fence around the house. So people always used to sit in this bench outside my house. And I remember my mom always used to say, she always knew who was dating who based on the things we would hear outside. And sometimes we wake up in the morning and there's like people put their drawings or like um, so-and-so love this forever. You know, like so people would like write messages on the little bench. And, and I, I think it became a well-known place in my community, like it, it had like a name, like if, if you ask somebody where they are, they'll be like, oh, um, you know, like it was known as the stoop. Um, and so I think when I, when I think back in those moments is that I didn't have the time to process my hardship because I had this space that made me feel comfortable. I had the community that used to share this space with me and it made us all forget about life, you know? And I always think like the stories that were shared in that space is, is like, it's so beautiful. Hello. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen quite a lot of each other during these days, right, yeah. in the theatre. It's been beautiful though, it's been beautiful, I've loved it, yeah. So we are about to go on stage, well, we've been on stage for a tech rehearsal, about to open a mix bill, Made in Leeds and Whalers yeah. is the piece that you've made for Northern Ballet, is the beautiful present you made for Northern Ballet. Um, shall we talk a little about that? Yeah, let's, let's do that. It's an incredibly personal inspiration, really, behind what spurred you yeah. for this. Yeah, yeah. I think also in in the in the core of it, really, is for me is a celebration of all of that. Is a celebration of what makes us humans, you know. And struggle is part of that. You know, perseverance is part of that. Um, family is part of that. Togetherness is part of that. Um, and so I think the piece is really about celebrating that aspect, aspect of life and coming together. Um, and I remember when I, I saw a painting that's done by my partner um, in 2020, um, she created these beautiful black and white figures. Um, and I remember looking at it. The first time she sent it to me, she was in South Korea at the moment, and she sent it to me and I just started crying because it was so simple, but yet so very powerful. You know, I, she just had these black and white figures. Some of them are small, some of them are big, some of them are tall, and they kind of scattered around um, this sort of landscape. And I remember 
in that moment wishing or thinking that's how life should be you know people coexisting black and white in every form big small tall short um and I, I remember this painting really like it took me um and so that the the black and whiteness of the the figures in the painting then influenced what the costumes would be which seemed very close to what I was trying to achieve in the first place which was to bring my culture to the work um and in the classic culture we have these beautiful um sequences that are like black and white patterns on on the dresses and and so I wanted to to speak in a sense about my mother and what maybe her relationship with my grandmother would have been like if I had met my grandmother I've never met her uh, and so I kind of created my grandmother's character with the feeling of wishing I had met her and if I had met her what would that feel like for me um or what would we talk about or what would i ask her <laughs> you know um and yeah and and it sort of uh, gives nods to the people that come before us um and and us that are here and the people that will hopefully be in the future and our future children what they'll hopefully be like um yeah so it's it's about it's about a lot of things and and can i say when you talk about the black and white painting that your partner did and you described it as simple and yet powerful and i think those two adjectives could describe your piece as well yeah. you know it's simple in some ways and yet so powerful mm -hmm. and that personal history and of course there is a character of a mother and a grandmother and it's almost like you meeting your grandmother through the piece that you've made on stage, mm. which I think is fantastic and, and that speaks of family, ancestors. How did we start? I can't remember. Because I think when I, when I came in January, we sort of just did lots of singing. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because um, I, I remember that the idea in the beginning was I wanted to make the music with you guys. Um, and so we did lots of singing, um, which maybe some people liked, maybe not. <laughs> um, but slowly through time, things started to change. Um, but yeah. How, was, how did you find that? I found it really interesting how also you had like a board when you came in as well. And you had like images, like such beautiful and powerful images of people, South Africans in the traditional garments. And while you were sort of um, explaining your background and where you came from and what sort of the inspiration for the piece was, um, to have those visuals, especially for you know, someone like me who might not necessarily be as exposed to that, which was quite beautiful. And I remember when I first saw those images in particular, I was really uh, taken aback on how beautiful and colorful things were. And um, also how you spoke about um, your family and how open you were and uh, kind you were from the very beginning, I think really sort of set the tone um, from the very start, like just that introduction. Um, so I think just that in itself on how kindly vulnerable you were just to explain about and express who you are, um, just started off this journey of whalers quite uh, beautifully. <laughs> Yeah, I think for me, like, I've never done a piece that actually connects more to me. <laughs> like, I've done a lot of, you know, stories about different kinds of people, but it's never really been about... And I mean, I'm African-American, so I have... I feel quite separated from the African side because it's like, 
uh, many generations like ago that I was like, you know, and African. <laughs> so like, so like I'm very mixed with a lot of things, um, which is, you know, it's cool. But like, just to, I almost like felt um, like being the grandmother, I was kind of like, you know, yes, I'm African American, but I feel so not connected to the African side that like, it was kind of hard to like, go into that because I was like I don't know like <laughs> what that is and like you were explaining to me at one point you were like talking about wailing and what that sounded like and I was like I don't know <laughs> I've, never, <laughs> like, I've never experienced that like I mean I came from Christian background and we have I guess kind of wailing but like it's not eat the same I mean it's different um but like I just it was hard because I was like, I'm, I have this skin color. I'm, you know, African American, but I don't always feel connected to the African side. I feel very much used to the American side, but like, and like how we kind of created our own kind of culture in America, blacks there. So it's like, kind of like been really nice to have you come and share that, like, because I'm like, oh, like, this is nice, <laughs> a little like refreshing, like, oh, this is what it would feel like. Because you act, it's not like someone like, oh, like I've been to like South Africa and like now I'm bringing over, like, like you're South African. So it's like, you're bringing yourself to it. And it's really nice to like have that authentic South African thing, yeah. <laughs> As we can and it really feels like we are coming together in a beautiful way which really is what the piece is about as well you know it's, it's about the coming together um, and embracing each other's cultures each other's backgrounds each other's stories um, and so that's that's my approach to dance and to life as well so I think it's so amazing to share that with people, you know, because people don't get to see that often. I hope this this is sort of serves as a as a point of reference, like we've said, um, of how something like this can come together. I can only hope. Um, but yeah, I think the future is bright, and if we can just come together a little bit more, we can achieve great things. Mama. Yes. Thank you, Mututu. <laughs>